Hey there, curious minds. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of artificial intelligence, or AI. We'll break it down into five different levels of complexity. So whether you're just getting started or you're an AI expert, there's something for everyone. Let's dive in. Imagine you have a really smart friend who can do amazing things like solve puzzles, answer your questions, and even play games with you. Now imagine that friend lives inside a computer or a phone. That's what AI is like. AI helps computers and machines think, learn, and make decisions, just like people do. They can do some amazing things, like understanding what we say, recognizing pictures, and even helping us find the best videos to watch. You know how when you watch a video on YouTube, it suggests other videos you might like. That's AI at work. It learns what you enjoy watching and helps you find more fun stuff to watch. Pretty cool, right? AI is a field in computer science where we create programs and machines that can learn from data and perform tasks that usually require human-like intelligence. There are two main types of AI, narrow AI, which is designed for a specific task, and general AI, which can understand and learn any intellectual task like a human. You might have heard of Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant. These are examples of narrow AI. They can answer questions, play music, or even tell jokes, but they can't write an essay or paint a picture like a human can. AI researchers are working on developing general AI, but we're not quite there yet. Now we'll dive a bit deeper. AI works through a process called machine learning. Essentially, it's a way for computers to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. One popular type of machine learning is called deep learning, which uses artificial neural networks. Let's say you want to create an AI that can recognize cats in photos. You would start by showing it thousands of cat pictures and non-cat pictures. The AI would analyze these images and learn to identify patterns that are unique to cats. Once it's trained, you can show it a new picture and it will tell you if there's a cat in it or not. At this level, we'll delve into the intricacies of AI techniques. In supervised learning, we provide labeled data to train the model, while in unsupervised learning, we let the model find patterns in the data by itself. In reinforcement learning, an AI agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment and receiving feedback. Semi-supervised learning, a combination of supervised and unsupervised learning, leverages both labeled and unlabeled data to improve the model's performance. Google DeepMind's AlphaGo is an AI that defeated the world champion of the board game Go. It used a combination of supervised learning, reinforcement learning, and Monte Carlo tree search, an algorithm that helps make optimal decisions. First, it learned from millions of human-played games. Then it played against itself, improving its strategies over time by balancing exploration and exploitation. At the cutting edge, AI researchers are developing new algorithms, exploring the ethical implications of AI, and working towards explainable AI models. They are also investigating areas like transfer learning, where a model trained on one task can be adapted to perform a different but related task, and multimodal learning, which combines various types of data, such as images and text, to make more accurate predictions. One breakthrough is the development of transformer architectures, like OpenAI's GPT series, which have led to significant improvements in natural language understanding and generation. These models use self-attention mechanisms to capture long-range dependencies within the input data and enable more efficient parallelization during training. OpenAI's GPT-4 can write articles, answer questions, and even create code. However, there are concerns about its potential misuse and the biases present in the training data. Researchers are now focusing on refining these models to make them more transparent, ethical, and controllable. They are also exploring ways to reduce the enormous computational resources required to train such models, making AI research more sustainable and accessible to a broader community. There you have it. We've explored AI from the basics to the bleeding edge. Whether you're just starting to learn about AI or you're an expert in the field, we hope this video has given you some new insights and sparked your curiosity. Remember, AI is a rapidly evolving field, and there's always more to learn. 
so keep exploring and thanks for watching.